But today we're going to talk about something that a lot of couples don't realize that is a uh, That's an issue. issue in yeah. marriage, and that is uh, the bullying spouse. Yeah, a spouse. That Some of y'all are bullies. Yeah, you're bullies. Some of y'all are bullies, and you might not even realize you're bullies. Some people are like this is just how I am. Well, y'all, we got to grow up. Yeah, you got to work up. on ourselves. You got to grow up, and and and. And uh, but well, we're gonna talk about that in the okay. Message. So let's so, get rolling. Let's get uh, rolling. What what is the bullying spouse? The bullying spouse. Because uh, I'm gonna give some characteristics, and then you give some characteristics okay. of the bullying wife. I'm gonna give some characteristics of the bullying husband. Okay. And then because some people may think I'm not a bully. Okay. Well, let's just see. Men and women. Let's just yeah. See. Are you selfish? In other words, do you? Want things your way, how you want it, when you want it. You're not willing to compromise. You're not willing to bend. You're not willing to And if to it's move. not your way, everybody going to pay. Everybody. Your spouse is going to pay. Your kids are going to pay. People are going to pay. And you might say, nobody acts like that. Yeah, they yeah, do. Yeah, they do. Well, yeah, well let's, talk about, let's talk about how they pay. Because how they, okay, what, about, what do you mean by pay? Well, sometimes you're going to pay my spouse back, but I'm just not going to talk to him. Not going to talk to you? Give you the cold shoulder? With whole affection, walk through the house with an attitude. You come in and you just you suck the air out the right. room. People like, feel like your presence, like, but not right. for a good reason. It's almost like walking on eggshells in your home. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If, if if I say this, then they're gonna get upset. If I say this, that is a bully. Nobody knows how to deal with you, and, and people start. You get what you want, but you don't get what you want necessarily because you're right. You don't get what you want necessarily because. People agree with you and they say, you know, well, mama, mama was right. Daddy was right. No, people just, they're trying to appease you. Right. Because you're that difficult to deal with. You, you're making everybody pay and they just want peace to return back to the house. Right. And they do whatever bullying. they can just to get peace. The second uh, characteristic of a bullying spouse is abusive. Now, this one is very kind of out front in your face. Oh, yeah. Well, let me let's say something. Because when we talk about a bullying spouse, and I'm glad you said that, uh, sweetie, because there are some things, like you said, that are just obvious. You guys know putting your hand on somebody, hitting somebody, cussing somebody out, smacking them to the ground. Everybody's like, okay, we get that. Right. We get that. And if you don't get that, please understand. Somebody talking down to you, you know, being, and I'm not saying constructive criticism, you know what I mean, talking to you nasty, putting their hands onto you, you scared to leave out the house, you, you got to tiptoe out the door, that kind of stuff. You know that's not right. But I think today we want to shed light on the other things that people are doing that y'all are allowing to happen, that you're doing yourself. You know what's going on. You know what's going on. And it's just not right. And you've just accepted it. You've just accepted it. So, okay, so go on. What's the Number more bullying? Number three, are you controlling? You got to have sex the way you, you want to have sex. You got to do it. When I say do it, you control the, has to You control be the money. Way. That's a bully. You control the grocery right. list. You control when somebody can talk. You control everything. Now, and I don't, don't, don't misunderstand what we're saying. In a home, there are roles and responsibilities, right? In a home, there are many things that have to be done. So we divvy things up. You know, this is what you need to kind of oversee and make sure that it's handled. This is what this person oversees and make and make sure it's handled. We're not talking about that. Right. We're not talking about you handling what's been uh, assigned or agreed upon or you being diligent. But that control. Nobody right. else has an opinion. Nobody else has a say. If somebody says something to you, if they bring up, if they have a difference of opinion... You got a problem with it. Right. You shut down. You're angry. You're upset. That's controlling. And that's what we're That's being a bully. Well, we're not going to say nothing to daddy because you say this, anything to daddy. Or if daddy, if, or if mommy don't get away, she'll she'll just be silent. She won't talk to us. She won't do this. She won't do that. Sometimes, I mean, this is one of the things we've noticed a lot of times in wives. You know, you'll hold out on sex. You won't let him. I ain't going to give him none until he do what I ask him to do. That's a bully. That's manipulative behavior. I may, I thought about not using bullying because mm -hmm. a lot of people don't think they're bullying their spouse. They want to use the creative word manipulation. Mm -hmm. But you're bullying. You're bullying them. Whether you want to call it manipulation, controlling, or whatever you're doing, you need to grow up and you need to correct some things you get because somebody, you're destroying your home. When you do things to make somebody do something against their will that they don't want to do, and you're doing it by controlling behavior, you're bullying. Right. You're putting that, 
you're, you're, you're turning into a bully. You're not having a conversation or a dialogue. Exactly. Y'all not having a meeting of the minds. Exactly. So, okay. Last one. Are you um, loud and interrogating? You know, some now, of y'all went into the wrong career fields. Mm -hmm. The FBI needs some of you guys. Yeah. The CIA needs some of you guys. Some of y'all need to be in law enforcement because you interrogate people. You interrogate I, your spouse. I know a lot of couples, sometimes they'll ask questions so many different ways to try to get a they, different they're answer. They're trying to trip you That's up. That's interrogation. You shouldn't, you shouldn't keep, you, you should not put that kind of pressure on your, now, now there are other things that, that plays into that. Like, for mm -hmm. example, you know, we got a series that we teach on trust. We got a series mm -hmm. that we teach on unforgiveness. We got a series that we teach on those things. We understand that trust and, 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 and if somebody did something wrong or anything, anything like that and you, and you want clarity and insight on different things, we understand that. Now, we're not talking about that. But mm -hmm. what I'm talking about is this interrogative behavior that you just keep pressuring someone to get the answer that you want and yeah. not the truth. Your spouse isn't on trial. Your spouse isn't a criminal. I'll give you an example. I remember uh, many, many years ago, I had an opportunity to talk with a young lady and talking about bullying and controlling. And I, I came to the very conclusion, and I don't believe in sticking labels on people, but her husband, he was a, he was a bully. He, right. he really, really was a bully. I remember once we were having a function, uh, many, like I said, many years ago um, at church and the ladies were doing some things and her husband was out of town. And I think her and her kids needed some food. I mean, just something minor. I mean, like, like we were going to get like sandwiches and she didn't have any money. Mm -hmm. She didn't have any money because she forgot her purse. She didn't have any money because it was just, you know, they had a couple of more days for the end of the month. So the chick hadn't dropped and things were tight. She didn't have access to anything. Nothing. She couldn't access bank accounts. She had no access to anything. She had to petition him, go to him, to get whatever she wanted. She needed groceries. She needed gas. She needed snack money. He controlled everything. Everything. And it's not because, it's not because she was a rec uh, recovering uh, gambler or anything like that. And not only that, but it was so controlling in such a bully situation she would try to get other people to go to her husband and ask for these things for her because, because she, was she was afraid, afraid. of it. That's a bully. She was afraid. Are you afraid of your spouse? Are you afraid? Oh, are you that's afraid a good one. Are you, you are you afraid, afraid to make them upset? Yeah. Are you? When I say make upset, now don't get me wrong. You know, I'm quick sometimes to drop a tear. I don't like to fuss. I, I don't like to argue. Mm. I'm not a combative person. I, I, I just don't like that's part of my personality. But it's a difference in you don't, you know, you're not a, you're not that type of individual. That's not your personality. It's a difference in, you know, some people cry easily. You know, just, you know, you, it's a difference in that and you're afraid. That is a difference. Yeah. It's a difference in you feel like you can't voice your opinion. Not because, well, I can't get my words together because I cry because I'm a crybaby. No, 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 no. It's a difference. Are you being bullied or are you a bully? Let me say this. I always say everybody's not going to lie on right. you. And some of us well, don't. Well, my big mama used to say this. Your big mama. She <laughs> said everybody ain't going to tell the same Everybody lie. ain't going to tell the same <laughs> lie. So I always say to take a reflection, a good look at yourself. Look how people respond. Not, not the same people in your circle, but when you go different places. If you go different places and, and you talk to people and everybody kind of cower back. You're a bully. You 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 might be. Oh, I want to say or you might be coming off a little stronger than what you realize. Exactly. Maybe you need to work on communication. If everybody's afraid of you, everybody kind of cowers back. The the girl at McDonald's don't want to serve you. The people at Shoney's running from your you. Your children are afraid. Your of children. You. Nobody the say dog, nothing. The cat. Everybody. The dog going you. the other direction. Hide under the bed when you go. You might need to take a look at yourself. Everybody's not going to tell the same lie. And I'm not saying that that means you're a bad person, but all of us have developed in the years to where we are for different reasons. It could have come from your childhood. It could have come to things that happened to you. Sometimes you might have grew up in that type of home and you might not even realize that it's bad behavior. Now, that's one thing I've recognized with some of the couples. Some of us have grown up in homes that and we, that were dysfunctional and we thought that that was the norm. And that's okay because you can you can make a change now. Right. You can do better now. 
Go ahead, sweetie. Some of the outcomes of this behavior, because uh -huh. we got to move on, because somebody said we only had 20 minutes and they rushing. They rushing me. It, but I'm going to have to rush her today. Because, you no, know, just well, we were we talking together. <laughs> but, just talking about a bullying yeah, Some of the outcomes of this behavior, because you think you're going to get what you want, but some of the outcomes, you're really trading on dangerous territory. Some of the outcomes of this is going to be rebellion. You're building rebellion in your marriage. Yeah. You think that you're in control in actuality. When you leave, everything is going uh, in another direction. Sticking money to the side, folks doing stuff. You shouldn't have to live in that environment. People are sneaking behind yeah. your back and doing things. Um, some other uh, components of a bullying spouse. And, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I forgot you talked about that. Well, no, no. Some other components of a bullying spouse, and this can go for, for men or women, are you a nag? Do you just keep going on and on and on until you make somebody do what you want? You're going to keep just going in and pressuring them and, and, and nagging them and, and, and weighing on them. You're going to nag until it just happens. Why you looked at me when you said no, nag? No. I saw you. <laughs> no, I the didn't. devil is a liar. I don't <laughs> no, nag. No, no, no. I don't nag you like don't I nag. used to back yeah. in the day. I'm delivered. Woo, thank and you, Jesus. Thank God for the blood. I'm just getting my point across if you had caught it that first time. Right. See, that's what exactly. I'm saying. No. Okay. So, so, so nagging. We've already talked about uh, bullying, controlling people through your, your emotions, being angry. Some people walk around just angry all the time. Right. And it's like they use that to manipulate situations right. to get what they want. That's not healthy. That is not healthy. Yeah, do we all get upset sometimes? Do we all get angry sometimes? The Bible says be angry but the sin not. not. So it can happen, but if that is your common, everybody, know, I know somebody, and everybody, I don't care if you met, no people, you talk to people from their childhood, from when they were a young adult, if you talk to people in the church, Everybody just feels the same way that this person is just an angry person. Something's yeah. not right about that. Yeah. Something's not right about that. Go ahead. What about? Um, oh, uh, this one. Just go over these last three. Which one? Uh, You're going to have to help me. My, I printed my notes, but I didn't print it in the right font size. <laughs> so my, my um, eyes sometimes don't catch it. What does it say? Are you afraid to submit? Um, and um, No, no, no. I'm sorry. Are oh, you just a mean person? We talked about that in being tough. Yeah. Being tough. Yeah, oh, wow. Well, what, do you, what do you think about that? So I... Well, so we, 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 got to, uh, we, we, we talk about being tough in marriage. Mm -hmm. And tough in marriage means that when the tough times come, you got to learn how to... You keep standing. What well, I'm talking keep... about when you just putting your foot down and you just, you just call yourself being tough. You know, your children, you know what I'm saying? Different things like that. Just making these ungodly ultimatums in your home. And unreasonable. Your home, unreasonable demands. You can't do can, that. Can, let's talk about tough for a second. I'm not talking about you having standards. Exactly. Right? I'm not saying that they're not, we have standards. But there is a, there is a difference between we having standards, this is what we do, this is how we manage our home, this is how we manage our marriage. But some people are just... It's, it's uh, what's the word I'm looking for? They're so for? tough, they're ungodly almost. Yeah. It's horrible, you know? Yeah. Just an unreasonable level of toughness. Right. An unnecessary, an unwarranted level of toughness. So some of the things that you're causing in your home because of these behaviors that we talked about, you're thinking you're getting old, but you're calling it rebellion. But the number one thing that you're causing that's really driving you guys apart, and my wife and I, we really minister on this. I believe if you get rid of this next one, if you get rid of this, I believe it'll correct 80% of the things in your home. What's I that? really believe that. Strife. Oh. Can you define strife? Because okay. I don't think people recognize what strife is. Strife. And I don't think they recognize what it's, when it's in their heart and when it's in their home. Strife is the friction that you're creating in your home, whether it's spoken out loud or done in silence. Mm-hmm. It's friction in your home. It's friction in your home. As people have that silent friction. Mm. It's silent you, you friction. Ever been, you ever you know, engage with your spouse? And you can feel it with other people. It could be family members. And you could just feel it's something. Mm -hmm. You can't put your finger on it all the time. You don't, might not even know where it came, but you can feel it. That's that it's almost like friction. you can put your hands on it, but it's invisible. It's that strike. Yes, yes. 
That strife, strife will destroy your relationship. Destroy. If you get rid of the strife, it I will mean, destroy you, your marriage. You it say, will hurt your kids. I'm telling you, that strife thing, it builds so many different things that can destroy your home. Get rid of the strife. I think we need to minister on strife. We won't minister on that on next month, but can I'm going to come back and really revisit yeah, that we topic. we got to talk about strife, strife man. Because I don't think people you. recognize it. And it's amazing. It's amazing. We're, 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 we're church. Uh, I know we're talking to believers and non-believers out there, but it's amazing how many people. So this, I'm saying this for the church folks out there. It's amazing how many people that go to church, oh. ride in the same car together. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Serve, yeah. How you doing? Going God church, bless you. I'm blessed. In strife. I'm blessed and highly favored of the Lord. This is my boo thing. And you put on that front for everybody else. But as soon as you get in the car. It's almost like you can just cut it with another. You can almost choke the other person. That yeah. strife. strife. And that, that tension. That tension. You're not, you're only fooling yourself. If yeah. you don't deal with that, you're destroying your marriage and you're destroying your home. You're going to church and you're putting on all these words and all these things for people you'll see for about an hour, hour and a half, two hours. And it's strife. And you know how I know it's strife? There are couples we've worked with over the years, or there are couples that we've known that when we saw them at church, or you see the pictures on Facebook, y'all, Facebook it's can be way. a lie. Yeah. One you way. see them pictures yeah. on Facebook, and you see those couples, and you're like, my Lord, mm -hmm. we have got to work on our thing, sweetie. And then the next thing you know, you hit a report that they choked each other, mm -hmm. and they're down at the courthouse. Yeah. Because of the strife. It's strife that and that's Trying to unresolved. Impress people that they do not know. Instead and the of person working with the person. You're sleeping yes. with every night. You're not you trying don't put to work on, on any that. impressive skills for them. The wow. strife. I'm telling you, if you get rid of that strife. Strife is some strife. serious. You know what? I'm going to minister on that say, on next And you week. can get, yeah, you need to talk about strife. Next and week. you can get into strife. I think sometimes people slip into it, don't even know it. Yeah. They don't know it. And you're walking around, and I've seen couples, and they go for strife. And that can go on for weeks and months. And and everybody, it's that couple, everybody said, what happened to them? Mm -hmm. Because we only got about two minutes. Well, wrap so I want to talk about this last okay, one. I want to talk about this last one. Are, are, are you trying to, are you sending a, a, no. a message trying to say that I'm going along? Yeah, he told me he want me to minister with him. You don't want, you don't want my help. <laughs> no, I'm just teasing. Going so on. rebellion, strife, and the last one is resentment. Now, oh, that's a powerful one. You know, I could that's really dangerous. talk about resentment. You know what I'm saying? You can resent your spouse. You can resent them. I mean, you can get to a place where you can say, "You don't like the person you, don't you like live them. with no more." You don't really. I don't really like them. You know, you don't like them. You know, wow. and that's sad, man. That's sad because how listen, do you get to that point? Unrevived strength. Now, I don't. I know this is a bad confession. It's a bad confession. But I heard I one of my motivational speakers say this. He said, "Life is short and unpredictable. Eat the dessert first. What he's saying is, life is so. It's so precious. It is too precious to be walking around the what? house resenting each other. And what kind of way is that to live anyway? It's a horrible way to live. That's not good for you. It's not good for you.